Boy, what a classic sound and startup that is. We are looking at the original Xbox right here, taking a trip down memory lane. And man, was this one of my favorite consoles. I don't know why the top is discolored like that. It's probably due to the dust. Um, doesn't really look like that. This console was in like new condition. Like I said, just the dust on top of here that is within the plastic. Uh, wet rag will take care of that. Um, but anyway, looking at this, this is a console. I, I believe this one came out in uh, 2000, I think 2003 or four. One of those years, this is the console. Uh, I noticed this, uh, this little uh, logo up here is a little bit lighter of a green, but it's still an original. This plastic looks black, but it's really a, like a dark, like a really dark green. It has like a green tint to it, so definitely cool. Everything still works with this Xbox. You know, it's from 2000, well, a console that has technology from 2001. It is really crazy, especially to be using, you know, 22 years later. But just looking at this controller takes you back. It does have the slots up here for, I believe, the rumble packs or, yeah, I believe it's either for rumble or packs or storage packs, but I'm thinking more rumble. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, don't hold me to that. But... Let's put in a game real quick, just, you know, for the heck of it. Uh, what's a classic one? Well, we do have Grand Theft Autos, which are pretty classic here. We do have a lot of the old Maddens and NBAs right there. But for something quick and easy, just to go back on, we'll uh, we'll pop in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Black was another good game too for the for the original Xbox. Classic. Pop our disc in there. Still works. And. I put these down, back down so I can close this. And, uh, come on. One game that does not fit right now. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the dashboard here. This is your standard original Xbox console dashboard. Very simple, yet very futuristic for its time. Let's go in the memory. Back when it was still talking about blocks, I'm not sure what 50,000 plus blocks is equivalent to. But these are the games that I have on here. So I got 50 Cent, Bulletproof, that's a good game. American Chopper. Was another good game and another great TV series. I love American Chopper. We got American Chopper 2. Batman Begins. I never played that, but I I guess it's whoever owned the Xbox before I did. I never cleared it. Uh, I had Black. I never started playing the game. I, I just got it to get it. I had that Burger King big bumping game. That was pretty cool. Got Burger King Sneaking. Burnout 3, we got Call of Duty Big Red One, Call of Duty Finest Hour, Corvette, Driver 3, Dukes of Hazard, ESPN 2K5, Far Cry Instincts, Ford vs. Chevy, Forza Motorsport, Ghost Recon, Ghost Recon, I of Thunder, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, San Andreas, Halo, Halo 2, Ice Age, Meltdown, I never played that. LA Rush, I don't even have that game. 
LA Rush is another good one. Uh, Madden NFL 2007. I knew I had 2007. And then Madden 2002, 2005, Medal of Honor, Midnight Club 2, Mike Tyson, Heavyweight, Boxing, and then we got uh, MX Unleashed, 2K6, NBA Ballers, another good game. Uh, NBA Ballers, a uh, sequel to it, Phenom, another good game. NBA Inside Drive 2002, that's a classic. 2007 NBA Live, NBA Live 2005, NFL 2K3, NFL Fever, uh, the NFS, then yeah the NFS Hot Pursuit, Need for Speed, Odd World, Monks's Odyssey. That's a kind of a classic yet classic yet weird game. Uh, Pocket Bike Racer. Uh, that's a Burger King game. Project Gotham Racing 2, Spider-Man 2. I don't have Spider-Man. Uh, Spy, Spy Hunter, that's another good game. That's classic. Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars. I never had any of these Star Wars games. I never bought them. Starsky and Hutch, that's a pretty good game. Street Hoops, Star Wars The Clone Wars, Test Drive, True Crime. Wolfenst Wolfenstein or Wolfenstein. X-Men uh, Legends, I don't have that game. And of course all the soundtracks that I uh, put on here. So let's take a look at the music. Sorry about the glare of the TV. All right, so I did happen to copy a lot of the Metallica albums to this Xbox, so it's pretty cool. In case you didn't know, you can like in some of the video games, like for for example, Grand Theft Auto, you can play some of these. Uh, you can play all, all the music that you put onto your Xbox, and you can play them off the game, which is pretty cool. So, of course, we got Master Puppets, Reload, Ride the Lightning. Uh, someone I did not put this on here, but someone did. Rihanna, old music from Rihanna. Um, S and M two. That's another good album that came out a few years ago. Black Album. I think I put almost every... Well, no, not, not every album. Of course, it, these are really good concerts right here. Live Mexico City. Some of the best Metallica concerts. Uh, for Rihanna, it doesn't re really say what they have on here, but I know... If anyone remembers uh, Umbrella from from Rihanna, that's uh, I think it came out from 2007. So their 2007 album is on, is on this Xbox. Back when you can connect to Xbox Live, original Xbox Live, you can create an account. Obviously, you can't connect and do any of this anymore as the servers have been shut down from Microsoft. But uh, there is someone in the works for few years now he's been trying to make it possible to where you can actually play original Xbox Live on the original Xbox and then you have your settings you have your clock uh, that is actual time by the way so still holds the time language audio you have all your basic settings for language, audio, if you have Dolby Surround, which I don't really have surround sound, but I do have a sound bar, so I have it on surround, uh, video, normal, letterbox, widescreen, just on normal. Pretty basic settings. You have your network settings, where you have to, again, you'd have to connect through the ethernet which pretty outdated and then you have your auto sign in of course i can't really use that anymore parental control really don't need it movies eight hmm. 
Oh, just means that there's no restrictions. I guess. And we have, just like all these parental controls, you know, nothing really a big deal about. We have the auto off enabled, which, which just shuts it off after six hours, which is good. System info. Just kind of shows you a general overview of, you know, information about this Xbox. Not this Xbox in general, but any Xbox, you know, in general. But yeah, I'll let you guys see, see this. All right, well, that's really it for the dashboard. Very basic and simple. And let's... Cockburn San Andreas. There we go. Classic. Back when you actually had to press start because A or any other button wouldn't work. One of the, one of the best Grand Theft Auto games for its time. When San Andreas came out, I mean, it was like a really big deal. It was like the first Grand Theft Auto that had the modern uh, effects of the Grand Theft Auto we know today. And even then, it was still has it was still old back then, but it was you know it was still different. I mean, it was different than Vice City. It was different than Grand Theft Auto Three. And I have like over what two million dollars. Actually, $20 million I have. And I'm not sure how far I've completed this game. I really don't know. I've played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on so many consoles already. I don't really know which console I'm on. I mean, which... Oh, I, I think I know. Kind of right when you finish uh, where you're having to take over all the different uh, hoods and make them yours because you can see they're part of them belong to the Balas, part of them belong to the vagos have some low riders in there but yeah you still have that lousy old school graphics for these uh games but back then back in the day i mean this was like this was the best i mean this these graphics were insane for people back in early 2000s i remember playing on games like these you know still has some remnants of the vice city and it still has some remnants of gta 3 as far as crashing goes and all that but they included a lot more uh, see, i don't want to get copyrighted there we go but it, it has new things like new weapons like chainsaws and well, actually, Chainsaw was on the last one, but it has a flamethrower. It has a few other cool things. Things you won't see in the new Grand Theft Autos. And now I'm going into Ballas territory. I do like the cheats on here because there's a jetpack you used to have on here. There's a lot of cool things you can do with with GTA San Andreas. Uh, it's hard driving and uh, playing at the same time. We'll take a look at the Pizza Shack. 
It was cool too because you can actually customize your vehicles and save them unlike Grand Theft Auto Vice. Well, Vice City you could in some safe houses and uh, GTA 3 you could, but very limited in what vehicles you had. Then you could change if you want a big meal, if you want a little meal. It shows you the prices. If you eat too much, you'll throw up. But this is also a good way to get fat in the game, too. <laughs> Look how fat CJ is. You could lose weight, too, very easily. Yeah, very cool, very nostalgic, of course, taking a look back at the original Xbox. A lot of cool games for it, too. Uh, not as many as you would think for all the years that this, the Xbox, original Xbox was out for, but it does have a good amount of games. There's a lot of missions though I hate on the on GTA San Andreas. Or you could go pick up CJ's girlfriend, but Yeah, and I don't know if the graphics would look a lot better through HDMI, but yeah, through A V they any graphics look horrible. But real fuzzy and grainy, but definitely cool. Just the textures, the whole design of it, I mean it is, it's like very old, but yet, to me, looking back at it, you know, this is something that I grew up with. You know, this is, these are games that I remember playing. These are games that I, uh, you know, they were just normal back then. Now, I look at these games, I'm like, this is horrible. The controls are horrible. I mean, not as good as they are now. You know, I, I play the modern, I play the modern San Andreas, and when I see them now, like, after they re remodified them, the graphics and the steering is a lot better, like GTA 5, you know, but they could have, they could have at least revamped it more, they could have overhauled it, opposed, they could have done a lot more than what they did when they brought back the definitive editions and they, uh, you know, revamped them. Very cool, very unique, like I said, for being a, a very old game. Definitely brings back memories. And like I said, all games back then were pretty much like these, with the same graphics and everything. Shouldn't that car will blow up? Let's see, I don't I don't think it shows me the missions that I've done. Of course, you, you know, I did explore all the other cities early, so I of course with cheats. But yeah, just classic. It has all the classic radio stations there as you can see. You can see the fat, you can see your stamina, your, all your stats of your of the player. Shows all the different distances and stuff you've driven and all that on motorcycles. Mission attempts, 29 missions past, 25. Days passed in game, 22 days. Uh, times cheated, 111. Yeah, it shows pretty, it actually shows a pretty good amount. So yeah, that's the overview on the original Xbox. Uh, you could play DVDs with the DVD playback kit. 
uh, which involved you having to buy a special controller uh, for these consoles. And let's turn it off here. You did have to buy a special controller, which is right here. Basically giving you the ability to play DVDs from your Xbox. And that's why you would need this little sensor here so you can plug and play for the DVDs. Which was a cool feature back in the day. As you can see, DVDs. But yeah, I guess I'll do it for this video. Quick little look at the look back on the original Xbox here. Uh, on the back, you only have your power port. You have your... Of course, HDMI port and, well, your AV port, I should say. And that's really it. There's nothing else with this console that, you know, you can do. Uh, I disconnected it because I will have to clean it. But just so you guys can get a better look at it. And it's easy to put back. You can see, I don't, I don't know why it looks like that. Never looked like that before, but as you can see, never been opened. Still look brand new, pretty good shape. Uh, if I can see, this console was made in, yeah, 2003. It was actually made 8 of 06 of 2003. So, August, uh, August 6th of 2003. So, in fact, looking at the date here, uh, this thing just got another year older. So from 2003. Dang. So what? It's gotten really old. And then there's the cat. <laughs> yeah, so this is the original Xbox right here. A very cool console, as you can see. Uh, pretty clean for the most part. I probably should spray it up, you know, with my duster too. I usually do that. Haven't done it recently, but that's what the original Xbox looks like, opposed to the Series X. So yeah, just a quick little video. Hope you guys enjoy this video, and uh, you know, thank you guys for watching. And we will see you in the next one. Take care.